Mary, and I want to welcome all of you here. I'm glad to see you. And we're going to have a great time today making puppets with Billy Bob and Ma, who have been here before. <laughs> Two of the most creative people <laughs> I know. And uh, you can certainly tell by the way they're dressed. There's a lot of creativity there. So we've had a lot of fun with them before. Um, to start out, they're going to explain about different types of puppets, and then they'll show us how we're going to make the puppet. Then all the materials are back over there, and you'll be able to get your stuff, and we've got plenty of people here to help. Tasha is here. Leonardo is here. Isabella is here. Holly is here. Okay, all the helpers come here so they can know who you are. And, and of course... Billy Bob and Ma will be here to help you. And here's all their outfits. Okay. So you guys can identify them. <laughs> okay. I want you guys to sit down and we'll get started. You, they might make a few puppets too. I think I'll right. them, make them work too. So I'm going to let you go ahead. Okay. My name is Billy Bob and me and Ma are professional entertainers and we don't come from that far away. We come from Vicksburg. And what our goal is, on our second part of our life, is to teach imagination and dreams. And how to use your imagination and just have a lot of fun. Too many times I see children that's not using their imagination and it's because everybody's busy and they're going like this with a video game. And, you know, it's so much more fun if you can produce something and make something and have a family night. And if you want to make a puppet stage, all it has to be is a piece of material across the doorway and you can put your hand above it and you don't have to worry about ventriloquism or anything else because you're hiding behind a curtain. Um, and I brought a number of different puppets just to show you ideas of puppets. I mean, these right here, I'm not sure where you can buy them, but you can make a puppet out of your hand. And it's just a puppet out of a that you can use they also have bracelets where you can my oh. wrist is a little too big but we'll you can go make, to work we'll there. and we'll figure out where you can buy those and also if you just take two ping pong balls and put eyes on them and glue them together and put a rubber band you can put those right there and they become big eyes for doing that it's just well, we're use it for a sock. imagination this puppet I did buy and it's a ventriloquist puppet and it's just to show you another example. And I had to buy it to see how it was made so I could make them. Well, hi there. Take me up to the ball game. See? Take me up. And that's a ventriloquist puppet. That somebody made. And these, this is a reproduction. It's made out of plastic. But they used to make these a long time ago out of wood. And you can make them and wag their tail. You're all choice. See? And one of the oldest sock puppets there ever was was by a woman by the name of Sherry Lewis. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us, but her daughter took over her job as being a puppeteer. And she is just marvelous, as good as her mother was, but this is lamb chowder. Very little movement, but oh, she was fantastic and had Charlie Horse and everything. Of course, some people remember Elf. That's just a little hand puppet. You know, look like kids. He used to eat cats. <laughs> well, I did. Hey. If you want to, if you're really creative, there's a, on the website uh, called Bible Puppets with an S dot com. It's run by a gentleman three. by the name of Cliff Desmond, and you can buy the pattern. It's an e-book, so you can make these and change them, but this is gnarly dude. Hey there! I'm gnarly dude. And that's just a little bit fancier puppet. So you can get as fancy as you want. And there's even, and I couldn't make these if I wanted to, that's my raccoon puppet. And that's called the spring puppet. Because it looks like it's eating. Or you can make it go, whoa, like that. And he jumps all over the place. And the last puppet I'll show you is this guy right here. And this one was made by a friend of mine. It's a work in progress because it's not quite done yet, but it's supposed to be a bat. Hi, I'm Betty. And that's a latex puppet. 
They forgot one. It's made out of, well, that's the last one. Um, it's made out of latex rubber. And first you make a clay mold and then plaster and dump latex into it. When it dries, you paint it and put eyes on it. And then what we came here today for is to teach. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I got one more. Got him. Oh, this is a, a human puppet. head puppet. That's a big one. That's a big puppet. You make, you make yourself a puppet. It's like that. You're a puppet. <laughs> what kind of puppet are you? Very dumb one. <laughs> there we go. I'm and just like one. that, I messed up here one. Put my head on. Okay. And the last puppet, this is why we came here today, and I'll answer any and all questions. I'll help you make puppets. It's how to make a... Somebody might remember puppet. this puppet. It looks like Ben Cecil. The Who Cecil. Remember Cecil? Cecil. The Cecil Cecil. That's yeah, it. The Cecil Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot like... Um, what show was he on? Benny and Cecil. Benny and Cecil. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Benny and Cecil. Yeah. And, you know, he was a sea serpent and a sock. And the other puppets that are this, sock puppets... This is the original sock puppet, too. ...is one that you may have heard of. Most of his body is sock is Kermit, the frog. Yeah, he was a sock. I mean, now they went and really elaborated on puppets in Dark Crystal and some of their other movies. I mean, they've just gone marvelous places with puppets. But Kermit was one of the first, and his body was made out of a sock. With just the arms added to it. Just a simple little sock puppet. So what we can What is he made out of that? He's just made out of socks, some yarn, a couple of googly eyes, and then marker for the mouth, and you just tuck your hand in and hi there. Now you could do that if you want. And then if you got a curtain sitting in front of you, you know, some sort of a curtain in front of you that you're hiding behind. You can actually put a mark on your puppet so you know not to go clear up here so you can't see your arm. Because you don't want that. You put a mark on your puppet so... Hi. Hi there. You got giggle britches over there. Yeah, I'm a puppet. Hi. So that's what we're here for today. And Just to show how to make puppets and use your imagination. Any questions you have, I do have flyers here if everybody got one. Yep, they do. Um, make sure you check it out. It shows how to do a little bit of ventriloquism if you want to teach that. Now's a good time to start. Who knows, maybe the next Terry Vader or something because that's where he started as an eight years old. You know, and making puppets. I'll be glad to answer any or all questions. And let's get started and make some puppets. Well, let's see the I don't remember that one. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I have to ticket you for driving yeah, 100 ma'am. miles an hour. But that's impossible, officer. I've only been driving for 15 minutes. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. My stupid dog has to go to court. Oh, really? Why is that? He got a barking ticket. Ooh. 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 What do you call a snail or a shit? A snail or a snail What would you call a joke book for chickens? I don't know. What do you call a joke book for chickens? A joke book. Uh-huh. She's fine. I don't know.